who don't like to wear socks, failed to pass the university entrance exam. After he died, his brain was stolen. A scientist. Who am I talking about? Of course, it is the name that comes to mind when we hear the word genius. That's from Albert Einstein. So, who is Einstein? Let's take a look at the story of the great man who shaped science. Albert Einstein. He was born on March 14, 1879, in the city of Ulm, in the German Empire, to a Jewish family. His parents were Hermann Einstein and Pauline Koch, a salesman and engineer. Albert, who started speaking late, was unable to form a full sentence until the age of five. But this did not limit his questions about understanding the universe. When Einstein was sick at age five, his father gave him a compass. The constant north pointing of the needle on the compass fascinated him and made him think about the forces driving the needle. For this experience in the following years, he said, I can still remember, or at least believe I can remember, that this experience made a deep and lasting impression upon me. Something deeply hidden had to be behind things. This simple compass sparked young Albert's curiosity and eventually paved the way for a lifelong interest in physics. From the age of five, he attended a Catholic primary school in Munich for three years. At the age of eight, he was transferred to the Luitpold Gymnasium, where he received advanced primary and secondary education. Einstein excelled at math and physics from a young age, reaching a mathematical level years ahead of his peers. The 12-year-old Einstein taught himself algebra and Euclidean geometry over a single summer. Einstein also independently discovered his own original proof of the Pythagorean theorem, age 12. A family tutor, Max Talmud, says that after he had given the 12-year-old Einstein a geometry textbook, after a short time, Einstein had worked through the whole book. He thereupon devoted himself to higher mathematics. Soon, the flight of his mathematical genius was so high I could not follow. His passion for geometry and algebra led the 12-year-old to become convinced that nature could be understood as a mathematical structure. Einstein started teaching himself calculus at 12, and as a 14-year-old he says he had mastered integral and differential calculus. He was introduced to Kant's critique of pure reason at the age of 13. While this situation increased his interest in philosophy, Kant became his favorite philosopher. According to his teacher Talmi, Kant's works, incomprehensible to ordinary mortals, seemed to be clear for young Einstein. In 1895, at the age of 16, Einstein took the entrance exams for the Swiss Federal Polytechnic School in Zurich. However, despite getting outstanding grades in physics and mathematics, failed in other subjects such as history, language, and geography, and failed the exam. On the advice of his school principal, he went to the Argovian Cantonal School in Switzerland to complete his secondary education. In order to better understand physics in the laboratory in this school, electric current, magnetic fields, etc., he was experimenting with things like, he was trying to embody the abstract thoughts he had created in his head. It was during this time that he began his thought experiments. He attributed his finding that light travels at a constant speed in space-time to the dreams he had when he was little about riding and driving light beams. He states that he found the general theory of relativity, which he explained in a revolutionary way, based on his thoughts on going up and down in an elevator. In both cases, Einstein derived his ideas by measuring in experiments he had in mind, by measurements beyond his laboratory experiments. At the age of 17, he enrolled in the four-year mathematics and physics teacher diploma program at the Federal Polytechnic. Here he began a passionate love affair with Mileva Marek, a physicist of Serbian descent. The couple later married and had two sons after graduation. In 1901, he received his diploma. He got his diploma, but there was a problem. He couldn't find a job. Although he applied for academic positions at many schools, his job applications were rejected because of his rebellious nature and tendency to drop out during his school years. After two years of job searching, he got a job at a patent office in Bern. He was both at work and working on the photoelectric effect, Brownian motion, special relativity, and the equivalence of mass and energy. 
In 1905, when he was only 26 years old, he published four groundbreaking articles on his work and managed to attract the attention of the scientific world with these articles. One of the articles was on the special theory of relativity that challenged the current Newtonian understanding of space and time. He proposed that the laws of physics are the same for all non-accelerating observers and that the speed of light is constant in all frames of reference. This theory created the famous equation formula, which shows that mass and energy are equivalent. According to the theory, all beings and physical events of existence are relative. Time, space, motion are not independent of each other. On the contrary, these are all relative interconnected events. Object is dependent on time, time with object, space with movement, movement with space, and hence all are interdependent. His academic rise had just begun. Then, in the same year, he received the titles of doctor, and in 1911, professor of theoretical physics in Prague. During his stay in Prague, he wrote 11 scientific works, five on the mathematics of radiation and the quantum theory of solids. In 1914, Einstein been moved to Berlin with his wife, Marek. There he got a job as director of the Kaiser Wilhelm Institute for Physics and a professor at the University of Berlin. In his early days in Berlin, Einstein suggested that the correct interpretation of the special theory of relativity should also provide a theory of gravity, and in 1916 he published his article on the general theory of relativity. He proposed that the gravitational force was due to the curvature of space and time caused by the presence of large objects. The general theory of relativity is essentially a theory of gravity. The main difference of this theory from Newton's theory of gravity is that it explains gravity not with a force arising from the masses of objects, but with the curvature of space. According to the general theory of relativity, the mass causes the space it is in to bend, and free objects moving between two points, with no force acting on them, follow the shortest path in between. This theory predicted the bending of light around large objects and the existence of black holes. In 1919, his prediction of declination during the solar eclipse of the 29th of May 1919 was confirmed by Sir Arthur Eddington. This theory created a revolution in the scientific world. 400 years of Newtonian physics had been destroyed. These observations were published in the international media and made Einstein world famous. All eyes were on Einstein because his genius had opened a great door in the process of humanity's discovery of the universe. On November 7, 1919, the leading British newspaper, The Times, ran a banner that read, Revolution in Science, New Universe Theory, Newtonian Ideas Destroyed. He was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1922 for this discovery. During these years, Einstein began having an affair with his cousin, Elsa. After this situation arose, Einstein and Marich divorced on February 14, 1919. Elsa and Einstein, who got married after the divorce, gave up their German citizenship due to the political climate of Germany and immigrated to the United States in 1933. Einstein became an American citizen in 1940. He lived in America until his death in 1955. Throughout his life, Einstein described himself as an anti-militarist and pacifist. Despite being a pacifist, Einstein, concerned about Nazi power, in a letter warned President Franklin Delano Roosevelt of the German intentions to build an atomic bomb and offered to cooperate to do so. Roosevelt saw Einstein's assistance as a risk to the safety of the project and refused cooperation. Einstein was not part of the Manhattan Project to build the atomic bomb, but he was instrumental in getting it started. Albert Einstein received honorary doctorate degrees in science, medicine, and philosophy from many European and American universities. He lectured in Europe, America, and the Far East in the 1920s and received memberships from all the world's leading scientific academies. He has won numerous awards in recognition of his work, including the Copley Medal of the Royal Society of London in 1925 and the Franklin Institute's Franklin Medal in 1935. On April 17, 1955, Einstein suffered internal bleeding caused by rupture of an abdominal aortic aneurysm. Einstein refused surgery, saying, I want to go when I want to go. It is tasteless to prolong life artificially. I have done my share. It is time to go. 
and died the next morning at Princeton Medical Center in Plainsboro, age 76. During the autopsy, pathologist Thomas Stoltz Harvey removed Einstein's brain without his family's permission in hopes he could discover what made Einstein so intelligent. The brain on which experiments were conducted has been the subject of numerous studies aimed at understanding the anatomical basis of Einstein's genius. But many of the findings are still controversial among scientists. The brain is still preserved today at Princeton Medical Center. Einstein's body was cremated in Trenton, New Jersey. Einstein's contributions to science have had a profound impact on our understanding of the universe and continue to shape scientific research today. The theories, which are still valid today, have not been refuted despite many attempts. On the contrary, they have proven their correctness with new discoveries. Of course, what will happen in the future is unknown. In a memorial lecture delivered on the 13th of December 1965 at UNESCO headquarters, Nuclear physicist J. Robert Oppenheimer summarized his impression of Einstein as a person. He was almost wholly without sophistication and wholly without worldliness. There was always with him a wonderful purity at once childlike and profoundly stubborn. Einstein was very fond of the violin. He began taking lessons at the age of six, said that if he had not been a scientist, he would have devoted himself to music. Now let's make a guess. What do you think would happen if this great scientist chose to play the violin and devote himself to music instead of physics? For more videos, don't forget to like and subscribe.